Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and this amazing video, Amaditya. In this video, we are going to see the question that majority of you have been asking about using Postman for Laravel API, like making those initial requests and how can you solve that problem. So without any further ado, let's begin, right? So here I have a simple Laravel project that I have been using for one of the Nuxt and Laravel tutorials. If you haven't checked that video, please see the link in the description below. It's not about all those Laravel things or it's more about the, the Sanctum API that we are, that we generally use with Laravel. And majority of time when we want to test the register and logging route using Postman, like these are very straightforward to test with any front end application. But when it comes to Postman, we generally get this CSRF token mismatch. Now, the reason being in Laravel's documentation, if you see that we first need to make request to this API root, which says Sanctum CSRF cookie, we get the CSRF cookie. Now, what is this cookie? This cookie makes sure that, so once it once you make a request here, you get a CSRF token or CSRF cookie token, and that is stored in your browser and that is used to send request to your API for, or you could say like the further request to your API, and then, Laravel uses this cookie to authenticate the request. So when it comes to these two things or any route which is register or which is related to auth routes or anything that are related to the Laravel route which are not authenticated with just Sanctum token, you will need that CSRF cookie. Now, how can we solve this problem in Postman? So what we do is in Postman, there is a feature of scripts. So when you create a request, we have the body thing where we send the data, but in scripts, we can send the, or we can write a logic that we want to run before an API request is made. So here we will write a simple script that will do the same job, which this, which will like what is said in this documentation. So it's more about like sending a request to the CSRF cookie, getting the token, setting it. And then when the further request is made, we just make straight away to the API URL. So for that, we need to go to scripts and this has to be done before the request. So that's why we are saying here pre-request. If we do the post response, that means it's after the request, pre-request will do it before it, before the request. Now the code over here, it's kind of, it's actually a JavaScript and it is very specific to Postman. So here I'm going to say PM, which is the global Postman object. In that we have a function, which is send request. Now in the send request, we tell, okay, what what's the url so here the url is the server url in my case it's http localhost colon 8000 because currently the server is running on localhost over here and then here i'm going to say sanctum so the route that is specified in laravel documentation csrf cookie and also what method is it so the method is the get method so here i'm going to say get now, what to do when this request is made? So there will be a callback. So here I'm gonna put that callback. And okay, what this callback does is, whenever the request is made to this one, this callback will run after the request. So here I want to set that cookie. So here we will get the error object, the response object, and whatever cookies are there. Or we will get additional object, and we'll just destructure our object, and we'll just get the cookies. Now in this callback, I'm gonna say if there is no error, okay? So if everything is good, we get the response, great. Then we say, okay, set that cookie. So here there will be a collection variable, sorry, on headers. So you'll see this, this variable, this we want to set so that we can set it on anywhere, like in any request. So here I'm gonna say set that collection variables. So here will be dot set. And here I'm gonna say, okay, what's the variable name? So that's XSRF cookie, like this variable over here. That's my variable. It's not the postman thing, it's my variable. And then here I'm gonna say in the cookies, so this cookie is over here, get, we want to look for XSRF token that is sent by Laravel. And that's it. So this will set this cookie and that should get the job done. So if we save this, run it, and here we get the successful request. Perfect. So that's all in this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you feel this video is worth sharing with your network, please do share with your network. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to our channel. So see you in the next video. Till the next time. Goodbye.